Good evening folks, Coco here again. Uh, been a while since I've done one of these, but I do recall there being some questions about proper way to get into the universe and everything. So let's snap to it. Some of the things that have changed um, that are seemingly awesome when they actually work is the ability to actually group up into uh, the server now. The way it works is you first have to form a party. Once that party is formed, then one person, preferably the leader, just to keep things consistent, will go and do what I just did and do go to the elevator and go to quick join through the hangar. It could probably do it from the menu, but it's probably a hell of a lot easier through the hangar, um, at least to be more consistent. Once that leader, will say, um, goes to quick join, an instance is either found or created that has enough room for all the existing members of the party. Now that's the existing members of the party at the time the leader goes in um, and hits that quick join button. Once the leader hits quick join and pops into the server, the server will hold the number of spaces for the rest of the members of the party open just for them. Uh, and it will do so for, I believe it's two minutes from the time the leader joins. Now, once the two minutes are up, then the server's wide open and anybody can go in. If somebody joins the party after um, the leader goes in the instance, the additional spots are not reserved for them. Um, the system as it is supposed to work is once you're in, you're in the server, if you disconnect, it will hold your place in the server for, I think, five minutes. Um, and it will hold your space in the party for five minutes, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, so that's how the party system is supposed to work. Uh, it's still being fleshed out, and there's still a lot of like connection and disconnect issues that are being worked about. Okay, so... As you saw, uh, I woke up in this station. I grabbed a pistol that was sitting on my desk, and I ran out the stairs, or ran out the door, down the hall, down the stairs, and I came up to this center room, the ship spawn room, or whatever the hell they actually call it. This is Port Olisar, in Crusader space orbiting around something. Um, each of these panels will let a player access their list of ships. Here you see my um, rather longer list of ships than I had ever really intended on buying in this game, but yeah, the uh, addiction does kind of get to you. So I'm quite fond of my M50. So, and you see right there on the screen it says landing pad AO3. So that means A, we are in um, terminal A. Um, you can see up here is strut A. That's kind of looks like an arrow, but that's actually the strut. If we go to the other struts, you'll see C, B, D, um, and pop out these doors, and you look up here. Look at that. Strut A, landing pads, one through four. You can read the signs, and they'll tell you where to go. So there. There's our arrow. And here's an arrow. Airlock. 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 I didn't know I was playing with Scooby tonight. All right, depressurize. So we're going to have to access it. And you see there, please wait. And all these actions, by the way, are accomplished with the use key, of course. Um, defaults to F for fug nuts. Nice, cool little effects there. Now, I've said before, there are a million and one different little tutorials out there. So this is just a basic get in, get out, get around. Um, and here is the launch pad. We are outside. We could run off this platform and go EVA. So here's my lovely shiny M50. Hop on in. Now you see up here in the top right, there are two little icons. Um, there are actually three, but one of them doesn't show right now because I'm not a criminal. Uh, this guy here, oh, that just disappeared. There he is. This guy here is saying that I'm in monitored space right now, meaning uh, Big Brother is watching. So if I do anything naughty, I become a criminal, in which case a third icon will pop up here, which looks like a little guy with a bullseye behind him, and it gets progressively redder 
um, as you progress through the five levels of being um, a bad, bad man. The second guy here is the bullet with the, cro with the cross through it says that um, this is an armistice zone, meaning weapons will not work. Neither your sidearm, um, if you go and get the rifle and come back with a rifle, that will not work. And your ship weapons will not work either. And this is to prevent, you know, a decent level of griefing and basically just make the game a little more fun for everybody. Okay, so we're back and controls are all set. So we're gonna take off. Uh, complete. Two things you're gonna notice here. I don't know if I, I already mentioned them. PRE, precision, SCM, space combat maneuvering. Those are the two modes. Um, IFCS, whatever it's called. And over here on the right, you have your different safeties: G safe, coupled, com stab. This isn't a how to fly tutorial. There are plenty of those out there. Uh, so we are just going to switch to SCM, space combat maneuvering because that's how you get around for the most part. And the second way to get around, quantum travel. Uh, again, I don't remember the default keybinds. They are out there. You first want to enable S or uh, QTS mode or quantum travel space mode, whatever they call it. And then you want to actually engage it. Now, for some reason, I can't go straight to security post carrier. So we're going to go to Kamare 275 first. Okay. So you engage the quantum drive by activating it. Then you select a target, or you can pick dead space, and then you activate the drive. If you select a target, it's going to take you right there. If you select dead space, it's going to go for however long it goes for until it decides it's done. So now that we've navigated around the gas giants, we're going to go to security post Caria as our first place. Now, where I am now, um, Camaray 275. There are a number of Camarays and a number of probes around. These are all different missions that you can do. Right now this little green light at the top here says that this array is active, which you can also tell because it is monitoring us as told by the little satellite thingy up here. So if it's monitoring us, that means that if we do something bad, if we're bad, bad boys, then we get criminal points. If you go EVA, and deactivate it, which you can do by parking your ship right about here, EVAing, and going through that little uh, crevice there. It'll take you to the inside of the station. Then there's a panel down somewhere, I think, around there. And you can use that to deactivate the camera ray, in which case uh, you will get a criminal point, and the cops will come after you, and you'll get a nice little naughty icon in your corner. But that's not what we're going to do right now. Okay, so the second thing we're going to do is show... So, assume you've gotten criminal points, but you don't want to keep them. You want to get rid of them. So now, we need to find... Aha, there she is. Security post carrier. And... We're going to engage to there. And this is a fun one. This is pretty much universally regarded as the EVP zone. And I'm probably going to get fired upon as soon as we get in here. And you'll notice it is outside the comlink range. There are no comlinks here. Yep, that's the Hornet contact. that took shots at me earlier. And I'm not going to actually land because there's other tutorials that are better at it than I am. But if you fly in here, you'll notice there are landing pads. And you can use these pads while he's busy. You can see the same type of little access ways back at Port Alisar and use them to get around. So... Once you're inside, there are two things you can do. There is an assault rifle in there that you can get for some FPS shooty shooty pew pew fun. And there's also a panel which you can uh, quote unquote hack to get rid of your criminal level. So one or two, mm, yeah, not a bad idea. Once you get to like three or four, probably one, two. It's, yeah, this guy's taking shots at me. Let's give him a run for his money. Let's see. Yeah, I don't feel like playing his game. Plus, he's in a Super Hornet, or some kind of a Hornet, so not really looking forward to that. 
Okay, so some of the other things you can do, uh, Kovalik Shipping Hub, there are, there's a mission there as well. And I don't know if this is actually going to take me there. Because I think I missed the circle. Seems to be an alignment issue with the circles. We'll see. Yes, there is. And I'm having trouble canceling my quantum travel. Quantum drive is now off. Quantum drive okay, so that was interesting. I just flew to pretty much the edge of the system. And it looks like I'm out of range for a lot of things. I think I've used more fuel than I had planned to. So, instead of going there, let's detour to Cryastra, which is the repair depot. And it's saying it's out of range too. Uh-oh. I might be in trouble. Now let's see how close it gets me. Oh, I'm stuck in the middle of dead space. Yep, I'm stuck in the middle of dead space. Okay, so that'll call it for the end of this tutorial. I think I did a little too much jumping around. Um, so that's the basics of how to get around. Uh, once you get to a station, you can uh, control F to exit your ship and run around just regular FPS style. Have fun. Go pew pew. Uh, you can discover a bunch of different missions to do at the ICC probes. They'll prompt you. F9 key will bring up your Moby Glass. And you can select either one of these two, and they'll give you a brief rundown. And, of course, there is also the F11 if you want to check on your friends. F12 will bring up the chat window. And just, you know, say hi to anybody that's locally. Uh, that is it. Just for getting in and getting around the mini PU. Have fun.